students please note down the pdf file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture please download your notes dear students today we will cover very important topic for bsc students that is male reproductive system of earthworm ferritima posthuma dear students today we will cover male reproductive system of earthworm ferritima posthuma this male reproductive system of earthworm consists of following parts first of all we will discuss testes these are two pairs of testes in case of earthworm dear students in case of earthworm two pairs of testes one pair of testes in segment number 10th and segment number 11th in each segment segment number 10th and segment number 11th these are a pair of testes in testes the process of spermatogenesis means the process of formation of spermatozoa takes place but not down in these testes which are present a pair in each segment number 10th and segment number 11th in these testes immature spermatozoa are formed the second part of male reproductive system that is testes sex it means these testes male gonads are enclosed in chambers and these testes sex are two pairs of again note down these are two pairs of testes sex in which these testes male gonads are enclosed immature spermatozoa from the testes are released into the testes sex third part of male reproductive system that is seminal vesicles dear students third point note down these are two pairs of seminal vesicles two pairs of seminal vesicles and these two pairs of seminal vesicles are present in segment number 11th and segment number 12th one pair in each it means in segment number 11th and segment number 12th these are a pair of seminal vesicles in each segment it means total two pairs of seminal vesicles one pair in each segment number 11th and 12th these are seminal vesicles in these seminal vesicles storage of spermatozoa for the development differentiation and maturation of spermatozoa take place no doubt in these testes male gonads immature spermatozoa are formed these immature spermatozoa are released in these testes sacs from these testes sacs the sperms are passed into the seminal vesicles which are two pairs of chambers in which further development of spermatozoa as well as storage and sperm maturation takes place in these seminal vesicles which are present in segment number 11th and 12th one pair in each fourth point semiducal funnel seminal funnels these seminal funnels these are two pairs of again no doubt these seminal funnels or semiducal funnels these are two pairs and one pair of seminal funnels in each segment number 10th and 11th segment no doubt from these semiducal funnels or seminal funnels sperms are conducted the sperms are passed into these sperm ducts and these sperm ducts are vasa deferentia and the vasa deferentia not down these are two pairs of ducts dear students 
दीज स्पम डब्स और वेस्ट आर डेफरेंशिया और दीज आर वेस्ट डेफरेंस these are two pairs of ducts which extend from these seminal funnels up to the segment number 18 here in segment number 18 these vas deferens join the prostate duct here three ducts two ducts of vas deferens and one prostate duct which are enclosed in a common muscular sheath that is common prostate and spermatic duct and these ducts open in the middle of in the mid ventral part of segment number 18 and these common prostate and spermatic duct which open ventrally in this segment number 18th by a pair of male genital apertures no down here in case of earthworm male reproductive system that consist of two apertures male genital apertures present ventrally in the segment number 18th and this large gland which are a pair of and these large a pair of muscular glandular structures irregular in shape these are prostate glands dear students in case of earthworm these are a pair of prostate glands which extend from segment number 17th 18th 19th and 20th and the secretion of these prostate glands that secretion helps in the conduction of spermatozoa as well as two additional accessory glands are present these two pairs of accessory glands which are present a pair in each segment number 17th and segment number 19th these accessory glands which are almost rounded whitish glandular mass and the secretion of these accessory glands which involves in copulation mating of two worms in this male reproductive system immature spermatozoa are developed in these male gonads testes immature spermatozoa are passed in these two pairs of testis sacs and from these testicular sacs the immature spermatozoa are passed into the seminal vesicles and these seminal vesicles are again two pairs of chambers in which storage maturation for the development differentiation of spermatozoa takes place and the mature spermatozoa at the time of discharge of sperms are passed into the testis sacs from these testis sacs the sperms are conducted via vasa deferentia through these seminal or semi ducal funnels and these vas deferens which carry the spermatozoa finally the sperms are received into the spermatheca at the time of copulation at the spermatheca in which the storage of spermatozoa takes place and these spermatheca are of the sac in earth it means spermatheca are the parts of female reproductive system in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss female reproductive system of earth dear students this is all about <coughs> this is all about male reproductive system of earthworm in this system two pair of testes one pair of testes in segment number 10th and 11th these testes are enclosed by two pairs of sacs these are 
टेस्ट इज सेक्स प्रेजेंट वन पेयर इन ईच सेगमेंट नंबर टेंथ एंड इलेवेंथ then in segment number 11th and segment number 12th two pairs of seminal vesicles in which storage maturation differentiation of spermatozoa take place in these seminal vesicles and the sperms are carried via these semi semiducal funnels or seminal funnels through these two pairs of sperm ducts these are vas deferens or these are vasa deferentia here a pair of large prostate glands are present the secretion of these prostate glands that involves in the conduction of spermatozoa and note down two pairs of small rounded whitish whitish mass of accessory glands one pair in each segment number 17th and 19th and dear students spermatozoa as well as the prostate secretion is released via common prostate and spermatic duct and in the almost in middle part of this 18th segment on ventrally a pair of male genital apertures are there through these apertures the sperms as well as prostate secretion are stored into the spermatheca of another womb this is all about male reproductive system of earthworm in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss female reproductive system of earthworm